Great, thanks. Um, I'll get straight into it. So there's four minutes. If you don't know what Map Server is, then the next four minutes probably won't make much sense. Um, but yeah, we have a new release coming out, so that's the big news. Um, hopefully tomorrow there'll be the 8.2 release. So that's got um, uh, 470 commits. There's been almost 20 people contributing to this next release. There's a link to the presentation, um, so all the full change log and things are there. So I'm just going to run through some of the, the new features in 8.2. So one of the main ones is that you can now apply an SLD file directly to a layer. So you don't have to use the, the map file syntax of, of classes and styles. You can generate your SLD in, in QGIS. You can export it. And then you can just reference that file in, directly in the map file. Uh, another feature is the OGC API features. So part one came in version 8. And part two is coming in map server 8.2. So thanks to Evan, who implemented this. So it now means that you can, you can use different projections. Um, you can pass in um, the CRS, and you can pass in a B-box in various projections and, and get the features back. Uh, so on the map file side, to add in the projections, you just add in a new key, key value metadata item. Uh, another feature is custom projections for WMS. So you can use all the EPSG projections by default in map server using WMS. Um, but in 8.2, you can also use your own custom projections. So you can, you can make your own projection files. So things like there's um, different Esri projections you can use. And now you can just use these codes. So you're not limited to e EPSG on WMS. You can use any, any custom code and any custom projection. There's a, a couple of new expression support um, features in the map file. So an expression, you can build up um, values based on attributes and expressions rather than, than hard-coded values. So for label priorities, there's a bit more flexibility with the attributes, and the same for, for the style size. There's two new config options. So map server 8, there's a new config file, a global config file. So you can put various settings in there. So instead of seeing the um, kind of default map server error message, when you connect to map server, you can change it to a custom HTML. And if there's errors in the data, you can also point that to, a, to an HTML template. Um, yeah, so in version 8, the config file, um, you can also set up uh, keys and aliases. So instead of having a path to your map file in your query string, which isn't particularly secure and looks a bit messy, you can just now, in your config file, put an alias and, and point it to a map file. And that will work not just for OGC features API, um, but it, in WMS as well. So you can just put in the key name into the, to the URL path and, and use that without referring to the map file in the query string. Uh, this week, um, there was a new map server workshop, so the first one in, in quite some time. So there's a few people here who attended, so thanks for, for attending. Um, and yeah, there was a lot of material, so there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, it'll probably be cut down for future sessions, but yeah, there's the link there. So I'll send out this on the, the map server mailing list afterwards. So there's lots of different exercises and map files you can, you can try. So things like act accessing raster data, vector data, OGC features API, it's all, all in the workshop. Um, already there's plans for the 8.4 release, um, so there's, there's four new blending operations, so you can have composite blocks in your layers, so you can apply effects to, to your image outputs. So again, thanks Evan, who's, who's got this set up already, uh, ready to go for the next release. And, and there's a lovely image of the, the trees at the bottom. Uh, just a couple of links on supporting Map Server. So there's, um, there's links, there's sponsorship opportunities, we want to do the OGC, um, the, the new OGC APIs, so implement those in map server, so the maps and coverages and things. Um, so we partake in code sprints, so there's, there's sponsorship opportunities there for the project. And that's everything, so thanks for listening.